Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about something I thought I was never going to do a video on and that is the digital calipers that I use to measure things in my videos. And believe me when I say that even when I'm watching a video I dislike it when the person making that video says I've gotten so many requests to do this. I'm just like yeah sure you did bud but in my situation every time I show these in a video I get comment after comment asking what type of digital calipers they are. So instead of individually responding, I decided to do this video. So this caliper is called the Neo Ruler by Hozo Design. Well, let's check it out. So the Neo Ruler here is basically a smart ruler. This is the base right here. And I've been using it with the caliper attachment. Yes, this is an add-on. And really, this is the only way I'll be using the Neo Ruler is with this caliper attachment. There's a lot of other features here, but I really have no use for that. And let me show you the box that the Neo Ruler came in. You can see a product photo right there on the front of the box. And on the back, you can see what I'm talking about. There's the Neo ruler just with the smart ruler base and then with the caliper attachment the way I have it set up. And then you can see the optional accessories right there on the bottom. There's the caliper and then you can see the case that it comes with that I do have and some of the add-ons right there. Now those add-ons you can see right there when you're using it as just a smart ruler you can just slide that back and forth sort of like the caliper right here. And I'll demonstrate that. You can just slide the caliper back and forth. If this caliper wasn't here, one of those accessories would be attached to the bottom frame right here. And I'll talk about those add-ons a little bit later on in this video. So right here, right near the caliper, you can see that 1.14 inch full color LCD display. And to turn that on, you can just press and hold this little triangle button right here. And I'll do that for you real quick. So you can see what that display looks like. And you can see right there on the screen which mode we're in. If we're connected to Bluetooth, which yes, there is an app for this ruler. And right there is my battery life. The first mode that I'm in is the unit conversion. So if I go back to these three buttons, if I hit this square, it'll cycle through those four modes right there. So that's unit conversion. This is the smart scale. This is the space divider mode and then a settings mode. For my purposes, I usually never leave the unit conversion. So if I go back and select this, hit the circle, hit the circle. Now right there, you can see that I'm in the unit conversion mode. On the very top, you see millimeters. On the bottom, you can see I'm in the one to one scale. So if I slide this over, you can see it'll stay one to one and those are millimeters. So it goes all the way to 305 millimeters. It basically has a 12 inch range. But you can see with the caliper, that end caliper takes up a lot of that space. So this is the most I can reach with the caliper attachment on there. And with this fully open, you can see that really cool blue light that stretches along with that caliper. I think this is really cool. Now let's close this up till it reaches zero. And say for example, I wanna reach inches on the top. So I come back over here and tap the square until I reach millimeters and then select it with the circle. And then there's centimeters and there is, what is that, meter? One more should be inches right there. Now I'm in inches. So now if I move the caliper back and forth, I'm now in inches instead of millimeters. Because I can measure something in inches really quick, then come over here and then just switch it over to millimeters and then you can see the conversion very fast, very easy. And it's very accurate as well. It's accurate up to 0 0.1 millimeters. And I've tested this. It's pretty spot on. So let's go over some of the other features here. So like I already mentioned, it has a 1.14 inch full LCD display, 240 PPI resolution. It has a 180 day battery life in standby mode. And that's due to the fact that it has a 1000 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery built right in here. And you charge it with a USB type Type C charging cable that it does come with. There's a USB Type A to Type C charging cable. And to reach that USB Type C charging port, there's a little lock button right here. So if I unlock it and lift up this little lid right here, you can see it reveals the USB Type C charging port underneath. Now I like that the USB Type C charging port is covered just so no dust or anything gets in there. And as soon as you close it, it just automatically locks itself so you don't have to worry about it. Also the main body and the calipers right here, it's all made of either an aluminum alloy or stainless steel. So 
the quality of this feels very, very nice. I mentioned earlier that it does have an app. I didn't download the app because I don't really use a lot of the features that you need the app for. So I think I'm gonna save the space on my phone. I don't need another app. And it supports millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, feet, yards, miles, and kilometers. Yes, it does support miles and kilometers as long as you have the 50,000 to one scale selected in here. So let me show you some of the settings here. So if I hit the triangle button and go back right there, and then let's go over to the settings, hit okay. And you can see what this setting menu looks like. Now, since I have the caliper attachment, you can see I have it set to caliper. If I didn't have that, I would put it right over there to the ruler, but I'm gonna keep that right where we have it. Once I hit okay, this is how to calibrate it. And what I like to do is just open it all the way, right there, that's as far as it can go, and then close it to where it's completely shut. And now it should be calibrated. Go over to that little energy tab right there, and if I hit okay, you can see normal performance and then what does that say? Factory reset, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep it in normal mode. That's where I've had it. So let's just keep it right there. Now the next one down is scale. So you can see the different scales that you can use. So I'm just gonna cycle through those so you can see all the different. I had it on this version right here. So I'm just gonna keep the scale right there. And the next thing is just some information about the Neo Ruler itself. And there's a bunch of other functions here that I'm never going to use, but one thing I like is this right here. So this is the space divider mode. So if I select that, you can see that I have millimeters. Let's switch it over to inches. And right now I have it set up to divide 10 times. So if I stretch this out. Now I really like this. Say for example, I'm trying to measure something and I want it divided up 10 times and I want that conversion. This will easily do that. So if I'm measuring this box, let's just give that box a quick measure. You can see right there on the bottom, the box is 4.59 inches across and divided by 10, it is 0 0.46 inches. So you can see how that could be very, very handy. And if I want to switch that, I just hit the button right there. If I want a three to one conversion right there, you can see it's just giving me the 4.59 inches divided by three, four, five, six, and so on. So that is a very useful tool. But you guys get the idea. The Neo Ruler here is awesome. It's awesome and pretty pricey. The Neo Ruler Smart Ruler by itself as a base is 129 bucks. If you want the digital caliper attachment, it's another $49. And let me show you some of the other things that it comes with. I already showed you it does come with the charge charging cable, of course, quick start guide, a couple other um, guides right here for the, let me see, the caliper and just how to use some of the other functions. If you want this case right here, this is another 59 bucks. There are a few other cases you can choose from on their website, but this one is a pretty nice one. So you can see it just fits very nicely in there. And this is a pretty pricey piece of tech. So get a case for it if you guys are going to grab the Neo Roller. And then on the bottom, you can see a couple other attachments. So if I didn't have the caliper on there and was just using it as a ruler, you can have a couple of these little sliders right here to help do whatever you're trying to do with this thing. Those two attachments right there are part of the Neo drafting kit. So if you put this on the ruler, you can put a pen right there in the hole and you can draw out exact lines for whatever distance you want. And the two pieces on the end right here are part of the Neo reading kit. So that's just a pointer. So you can have that on their slide and you can point to exactly where you're trying to read whatever you're trying to convert. And that is a magnifying glass so you can see things a little bit closer. Yes, it's really small, but believe me, it definitely works. The Neo reading kit is about 19 bucks and the Neo drafting kit is about 19 bucks. So total price for everything that you see right here is 275 bucks. And I just realized I didn't turn this thing off. To turn this off, just press and hold that triangle press and hold it down and it turns it right off. 
All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Neo Ruler from Hozo Design? A pretty pricey piece of equipment. If you guys do want to drop the money for this thing, I will have links down below in my description box. So hopefully this answers a lot of your questions. If you guys were wondering what type of digital caliper I've been using to measure things on my channel. It's pretty awesome. I probably won't go back to a normal digital caliper unless this one dies, of course. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!